been from all my witchy ways. Now I can't believe it, it's already day six. Day six of my frugal challenge. Now, what was it all about? Well, I set myself a goal and this is important. If you want to achieve something, you need to set yourself a goal. So I did set myself this goal not to spend a penny within seven days. And today is day six. So how have I done so far? Well, the exception were petrol, the exception were milk, butter, anything you might need run out and you desperately need, which just means like the essentials, toilet paper, um, tampons, if you need tampons, um, anything like that, um, the very basic essentials. Okay, and trying to live from what is already there, right? So, so far, I've done really well and I'm very proud of myself. I spend one pound and nine penny on milk because I run out of it. Everything else I run out of. I run out of cheese. I run out of uh, my lemons I normally use every single day. Um, I didn't replace those. Um, and petrol, which I spend today because I had to go somewhere and I spend a lovely morning with one of my wonderful friends and uh, we did some exercise together and then I went into the beautiful nature and to breathe and enjoy the nature, which sometimes in a week I think you need to do that. Get out, see the nature, breathe the air, be there, be present, feel good, smell it. And I was lucky today it wasn't raining because <laughs> in England, remember it rains. Tomorrow the forecast again is Rain, 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 rain. Saturday, Sunday, rain and storm. So we had like one day of nice weather. So if you have one day like this, you need to get out. You need to make the best out of it. And that's what I did today. So that's the only thing I did. I, I spent money on petrol. That was £20 and 25 pence. So I didn't go overboard because I thought I only put as much in as I might need for the next couple of days. So I've got one more day to go and I hope I can do good but I'm actually feeling excited that I might carry on. So if you think she should do that, carry on, then let me know. Drop me a line. Send me a message. Now today I was lucky. As I went into the nature, and some of you might know me, I go and um, bring stuff home. And there's little things, like a bit of herbs. Um, today I found some apples, and two pears, some herbs, and I made a lovely, lovely pudding from it. And I got home and I thought, right, my fridge is getting empty, so what can I cook? So there's a little preview of what I cooked. I got one potato from my garden, quite a large potato. I got the same amount of crochet. I grated it finely. I added in spices, as you will see. I added in some of my concoctions. You'll see in my pictures, I will explain. Um, mix it all up with some egg, with some flour and it actually f could feed easily three people. Pudding, I just chopped up three apples, I put in some vanilla sugar, I put in again some rosemary which I brought back today, I roasted some sunflower seeds, then I put my apple mixture into the pan. Let it cook until the apples were really nicely um, soft and then again that would feed three people. So I've got now meals for three times to come in the future um, and I've got pudding, three times pudding and you can have that pudding with um, lovely Greek yogurt or you can have it on a bit of vanilla ice cream if you've got that in your cupboard. So very simple and didn't cost me a penny.
Whilst I was out today, I only took myself a big bottle of water. When I was out, I started to get hungry. But I thought, now the only thing to eat something is by spending money. I thought, no, I can't do that. So I had my water. And then, because luckily I was in a big garden, um, there were some apples. So I had an apple from the tree, I had some plums from the tree, I had some raspberries, and I hid on a mulberry bush, mm. hush, hush, one of the mulberry bush, and I found loads of mulberries, so I fed myself with that. Then I put some herbs into my water to make it taste a little bit nicer, and that did me. And I forgot all about food until I got home. So, sometimes you just have to force yourself. I know the urge in your body is bigger than everything else sometimes. And today as well, I went around and went, oh, I like some bread, I like this, I want a big meal, I want this. And you just have to get your mind to think differently. Switch off those feelings. Switch them off in your brain. Drink more. And you can overcome those feelings. And if you find some fruit or anything out there, eat it. Better for you. That's what I did today. And remember, for the whole thing, set yourself a goal. And try to achieve it. See, so if, if you're stopping and uh, startling at the first hurdle, that's not good. Focus on that goal. Focus on that goal and keep going. And trust me, you'll be proud of yourself at the end. Very proud. Well, I am. So, hopefully, you join me again tomorrow. Tomorrow is my last day. But again, if you want me to continue on, like and subscribe and drop me a message. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you took part and thought, or maybe had it maybe had this thought in your head that um, you want to do it too. Yeah, try the same thing. To be honest, I saved a lot of money so far. It was only a week, saved money, and it benefits my health. So how bad can it be? Right? So if you're interested in me carrying on, drop me a line. Otherwise, i see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining in again. Bye.